my second tutorial in the series, and I have chosen uh, a new template to use. It seems like each Dreamweaver starter template is a little different. To a new person, this can be an intimidating experience. For those who are still interested in building a website, I chose to reiterate some of the steps, especially if you didn't use my instructions from last month to try on your own. I was hoping that we'd have some new, new, new people, but they haven't got in yet, have they? Anyway, you don't have they to worry. Want something. So go ahead. <laughs> you don't have to worry about taking notes because I have a detailed how-to. Dreamweaver is software that lets you build, design, and publish websites. Even if you have never touched any code before, you can make Dreamweaver work for you through its intuitive visual interface. It's a flexible application in that you can build your website entirely through the visual editor or solely via code or using both together. Some of our people just use code. Uh, Glenn Barrows is going to offer an HTML course which will teach you the basics plus more, but not sure when. There's also numerous tutorials on the Adobe website for beginners, which I have included on the document, which will be on our Web Spinners website. By using one of the pre-made templates, you'll give yourself a head start. And instead of having to create everything from scratch, you can simply add to or delete any pre-built elements. Usually before I start, I establish a folder with the name I'm going to use and include an images folder in it and move all of the images I have for the website. So before I start a website, and I know a lot of other people do, they get a, 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 a file ready and in that file, I put the images that I have already figured out I'm going to use. And sometimes, I mean, I, most of the time I have to add to that, but uh, I start out with an images folder and I'll tell you why in a little bit. Now we're going to get started. We're going to bring up uh, Dreamweaver. And, and if you don't have it, you can download it for a 30 day trial from adobe.com. Other than that, it costs you some money. So first thing I do is go to file new. And I select the starter templates, at least that's what I'm doing. And I'm making this simple for people who uh, are not used to doing this. So I'm not doing anything real complicated, okay? Go to basic lake layouts under the sample folder. And under the sample page, I'm gonna select the sample grid. And I'm gonna click create. It's easy as that. Now the first thing that comes up is the website that uh, uh, Dreamweaver has built. So you've got the regular HTML page here. This is your HTML page. Down here is your code view. Over here on the right-hand side are the files. I got files and I got CSS designer. That's basically what I use. It depends on what you're trying to do though. There's all kinds of things you can put over here to make building a website real easy. And you can see right here, sample grid template. That's what uh, Dreamweaver has come up for the CSS file. Now, the next thing you want to do is, first of all, I want to talk about the view menu. This is, a, this is a particular view that I have selected. Now, if you go up to view, you can get the code view, you can get a split view, and that's what I like to do. I like to get the code view and live view, and that's what I have with the code view on the bottom and the live view on the top and my files on the side. But anyway, this is, this is what I like to have. The reason I like the live view is because it looks more like the website. If you go to design view, I'll, I'll show you what that would look like. View, split code and design. So this comes up with a little bit different attack on what you're gonna do. And, uh, and a lot of times I'll use that, but most of the time I like the live view. Uh, so split view, code, and live, okie doke. So that's basically what you're working with. And down here is another panel called the properties panel. And uh, the properties panel comes in real handy when small changes are made. It allows you to view and edit the format, font style, and size of the text of the document. If you don't have the properties panel open, you would go up to window and select the properties panel, which you see I already have it, and I've got the files over here on the right, and it doesn't show the CSS designers here, but it is, and, and that's about basically what you do, if you, and there's a lot of other windows here that a lot of people use, assets and libraries and all kinds of stuff, 
And if you go to some of the tutorials out there, they'll be using the VOM and all kinds of insert, the insert uh, panel, which I don't do. I usually use, I usually use the menu to do that. Anyway, uh, now before you go any further, what you want to do is save this file. So you go up file, save as, and you want to call it uh, the H HTML file because a browser is always looking for index.html. That finds you. And we'll say yes. Now, uh, next you go to the uh, site new site, and I probably should have done this first, site new site. And here you'd name your site, which I would call it tutorial for today, six, four, 20. You can call it whatever you want to. It really doesn't matter as long as you can find it because you may have 15 or 20 websites that you're working on and you've got to make it where you'd understand uh, what it is. And then you go to where you've got it filed. Well, you click on the little folder here and I've got tutorial for 6 4 2020. Select that file. Now I go to advanced settings and then it says select images folder. That's where this comes in. It's handy to have the images folder already uh, in the file. So I go here and browse for it and sure enough, there it is. And I'll select the folder and I save that thing. The reason you do that is that, uh, uh, the reason you have the images is so, just because of this, because they're asking you where it is. So it just makes it a little easier. And this way, whenever you uh, get a new image, it'll be automatically saved in the image file by Dreamweaver. Cool, huh? Okay, now one thing in, about Live View and Code View. You can make the changes either in the in the live view up here, or you can make the changes down in the code view, which makes it really handy. So let's say I want to change this word right here. You just highlight it and type it in. Cool. And uh, now I don't have Web Page Design Plus anymore. I just I let it go. It's gone. But anyway, that's because. Now, if I want to change a um, image, I can I can click on this image, and you can see down in the code view that it's down here in the code view. That way, you can change it wherever you want to. Okay, so let's do it two different ways. I'm going to insert an image. And it didn't come up and ask me the way I wanted to, did it? Insert an image. Oh, I want to do it before. There, I couldn't. I couldn't wrap it. So you know. Anyway, I wanted to do it that way. So I can go ahead and select Web Page Design Plus if I want to. Click it here. Uh, would you like to overwrite the file? Yeah. Why not? So there it is. But I've got one down here too. So I just hit the delete key and it'll flop out of there and then just leave this where it is. And maybe I might want to say, change that wording. See how easy it is? Come on. Now, over here on the wording that's going to talk about everything about the uh, gay cons and web page design plus you just highlight the words over here and change it. Now you can also you can see down here in the code view that it's also highlighted down there. So you can change it down in the code view or you can change it up here. I just find that it's easier to change up here and you know in, in the code view. So I just say why not? Anyway, I'll leave the rest like it is. Okay, now coming down here, I have got y'all see my whole, whole screen? I've got, um, I want to put a uh, icon here. And uh, what I really like to do, it's really neat. 
if you if you select this down in the code view you can see the image and it's in my images file you can see that if i put my cursor right before the name of the file because every every one of these templates has a dummy file and they uh they'll usually it be in there so i go ahead and start typing what i want to put in there and it comes up automatically code hinting i don't know if they call it code hinting but whatever anyway i just click on that and voila it's right there now when i'm uh and of course i can come down and change the title right here okay keep an eye on my time because i was going to set the timer but i forgot photoshop just change it right here You know, it'll, it'll, whatever it'll work. I've got uh, what I do a lot of times. What I'll do is I will make a, a word document or a, a notebook, uh, notepad, and I'll put some dummy uh, text in it, so I can you know uh, go to it. And then uh, anyway, a lot of times I'll just make uh, a notepad and put my dummy text in here, which I don't know what happened to it. There you go. There it is. And so I'll put some wording where I think, I, what I think I might need. Of course, I'll change it 10 million times, but uh, this gives you a start. And so I'll just go over to my notepad and I'll copy what I decided I was gonna use for Photoshop. Let me do a control C to copy it and then come over here, highlight the text, and do a control paste, control V to paste it. Just like downtown. Okay, now. Um, so then I got another one here. And depending on our time, I'm not gonna go through all of this, but, but I'll do the same thing. Say, let's say uh, it highlighted, I highlighted the, uh, uh, the graphic file and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go right before the name of the old one. And I'm going to start typing D. And I only have one file with you know, D, which is Dreamweaver, and so that just one came up. Now, if I had more than one file with, with the D to start it, then all of them would come up, and I'd select which one I want. Go ahead and select that. And the same thing, just go ahead and, of course, I know this is, this is getting boring, but uh, the main thing is you can see how easy it is to do it, and you don't have to know the coding. And the, only, the, the good thing about it is uh, you've, and coding kind of scares people, but using it this way, it, it's not bad at all. Say I want to change that. That's a tag. Huh, tag. I want to change that. Now, see the properties down here? I can go to the CSS and I can change the color of that. by doing that and now it's changed all the tags anything coded a tag will change it to here now whenever you save a file in Dreamweaver you need to say file save as the save all because if you change the CSS file which I did and you change anything else it's got to update everything so every time you save a file from now on you say file save all it saves everything now let's say I want to um, uh, see what the file looks like in uh, a browser. You go to File, Real-Time Preview, and you can preview in it whatever you want. Now, I've already put these down, but say you don't know, you know, but say you, this is the first time you've done it, you can edit the browser list by just coming down the bottom of that screen, and up pops a uh, little uh, pop-up that says, okay, I said Google Chrome, I want it's the primary. I like to use Microsoft Edge sometime. I got that as a secondary. I hate Firefox. Internet Explorer is so old. I don't know why they even have it on there. I don't think. But anyway, people are still using it. And you apply that. So now I'm going to go to file and hopefully it'll do this. Sometimes this messes up and I don't know what's the matter with Dreamweaver. Hmm. Well, let's try it another way. There's another way to view it. If you come down to this little icon down here at the bottom, and if you hover over it, it says preview, 
click on preview. Same thing, Google Chrome. Hmm. Nope, it's not doing it. And don't ask me why. I, I think I think it's a little glitch in Dreamweaver, tell you the truth. It will do it for you, okay? And of course, you can go on and go on and go on. Uh, and down here uh, in the email me, click on it. And um, usually what I do is go down to the HTML code and get a link down here. And when you want an email address on a website, you've got to go mail to, mail, M-A-I-L, to, and then put the email address. Okay. Now, if you want to link to a website, you would put the complete website down here, HTTPS, you know, uh, the uh, colon, w, two W slashes and all that stuff, the whole thing. And, but anyway, that will work for that. And now that will work. And this is the footer. So I'd come down and change the footer just like. Web page design plus web page. I didn't put a space. Okay, see, it's fairly easy to do the editing on these things. Now you can do the same. You can do, um, for instance, if you want to delete something off of here, the easiest way to do it to me is to go to the code and delete. I can delete the whole line. And, uh, but by going to, uh, uh, for instance, uh, the first, the first line is called gallery. And uh, so the div class is gallery right here. And uh, that shows there. Okay, now, if I go to the bottom of it, and I know I didn't want to get real complicated. If I go to the bottom of the div class and all of them, it shows the thumbnails and all that. And I start with, okay, down here and highlight it all. Ooh, wait a minute, I don't want to do that one. That would be the good one. I want to go down to this gallery, the second line, second gallery. Go all the way to the footer. See that, that's what ends the second line. And uh, you can see that the footer is the next thing to do. Now, if I hit the delete key, it'll delete it. Deleted the second line and the next thing. Now, if I could see this as a website, I'll close that, close that. Now, there you go, you can see it now. Okay, so this now is uh, the first line, with the second line gone. And that's all you have then, then you don't have to deal with the second line. But that's how you do it on the templates. And actually, almost any place you uh, go to get a, uh, uh, a template, uh, and, and a lot of places out there have templates, not, not just uh, Adobe. You can buy them, you can get them free. And that's basically some of the things you do to, uh, you know, to uh, make it to uh, make it work. Okay, let's see. Now, if anybody, if anybody's interested in uh, putting a menu on this one, just let Kay know and I'll do a tutorial on how to add a menu to it. Uh, okay. this, this particular uh, uh, a template does not have a menu, which I didn't realize didn't have a menu when I started this thing some time back. But uh, whatever you want to like, uh, this is a basic design. If I want another page, I would save it as file, save as, and I would save it like uh, for the about page. Whoops, about dot HTML. And now I would have two pages. I'd have an index page and an about page. And there I, I would go to the about page and start editing it. And a lot of times you use the, the same thing up here, but you can change everything. You could change the uh, uh, this and make it an about page, maybe put my picture on it, your picture on it, whatever, and do everything uh, else. So anyway, basically, I think that's it.